All right, so let me get you caught up on what's happening. We got this uh, got this canopy put on the other day. Um, I didn't film it because basically they just plonk it down on the on the tray. I took the sides off the tray and um, put this on for the forklift. It's not that interesting. Um, we've got some roof racks on the top. So that's a three door. Three doors. It's um, 2400 long. It's 1800 wide. So heaps of room in here. So heaps of room for activities. You can see we've got reinforced on top. So it's all it's all water sealed. With all the seal. You can see it rained last night. And no water got in here, so that's good. Um, so yeah. Let's um let's continue the build or let's start it really because that's that's pretty simple just bolting that down. So I'll show you what I've got to put on top. See if we got this this is a rooftop tent, like a hard top aluminium rooftop tent. It's got um gas struts on it. So basically when you lift it up, it just goes and pops all your tent up. So next thing we gotta do is get this on top of the ute. So I'm gonna try and do it myself, try and get it up there. Um, I might need to get a bit of muscle around here to help me, but we'll give it a go on my own first and see how we go. Cool. Oh, that was a mission. Oh, I scratched it just here, look. Scratched it. Cause I, I didn't account for these inside there, these being inside that width there. So I've scratched it there, where I had to lift it up and down there. But what are you gonna do, mate? What are you gonna do? Now, next thing is get the little fasteners and get them around the, uh, the roof racks. Alright, so these are our things to go around the racks and these slide into the little track at the bottom and then go into the holes. So we've got all those, however, these are too shallow. So they don't come up far enough for the size of these bolts. So we either need to get something with the, the longer coming up, so it'd be coming up like that and out. Um, but you, you, you can't buy these, so these are the things they came with. So. We kind of stuck with that, so we need to find something that fits. So the only thing I could find was these at Bunnings. They had a steel um, square one, a steel square one, but it was only 25, so half the size of that. So it wouldn't have got around. But these are 50, so the, the rail will sort of sit in there, in between there and there, and you have a little bit of a loop, but there's not much I can do unless I get something custom made of these or dig through the internet for hours and hours so this is what we're going to go with um, see see if they work and uh, we'll go from there and we've also got to make these holes a little bit bigger so i'm going to drill these a little bit water I 
on. He's all the rest of the bits and pieces. We've got a lash. We've got some hinges or latches of some sort. And some locks so we can lock it. So that's cool. So let's get all those on to the, to the rooftop tent and um, get up there and have a look at it. So these are the little plugs that hold the, you'll have like a spring, a steel spring. What's the, what's the word for it? I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it, it basically goes in there, a piece of steel, and that holds your, uh, your awning up on your tent. So we'll put those in on the backside here. And this is another latch and all that. So look, let's get it all in, fine my foot. All those in now. Uh, So this is for the ladder. Better make sure this fits. So the thing there and there. Oh, yeah. oh, perfect. About here, I reckon. How's that? That's very good. Beautiful. That down. Yeah, man, that's super, super cool. Super cool. There you go. So these are the brackets I got from Bunnings. Hopefully they'll do the trick. I'll um, do a quick fit to make sure it all works. I reckon it's gonna be easy to put these brackets on the panel first. All right, now that's done, we need to go to Bunnings. So let's go to Bunnings, grab some materials, uh, stuff to build a false floor inside of the canopy. Let's do that now, and uh, hopefully they got what we need. across. 
better than splitting it 24 by 1200 down and trying to make them two to fit. So, and we've got some two before's as well. So they'll fit in nicely across. So yeah, let's, let's get to the cut. Solar panels on, roof racks are on, secured with our little, uh, our little things there, our little makeshift brackets, which work pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Now I've just got the solar panel plugged in uh, up there, running down to Anderson plugs, and then a little extension in through the door, because I'm not sure where everything's gonna sit yet, so I'm just running it in through the door here for now. Uh, that's our MPPT, uh, which goes one to the battery and one out to the solar panel, uh, you just saw. Uh, and then we got our little fuse box here for running all of our sockets down to here. Now already, I want to turn these that way, so then the cords all come out nice and neat, and they don't flop over each other like it is here, so that's already one thing I want to change. And we got another socket over there, that'll probably stay for the fridge, it seems to be in a pretty good position. And we've got the uh, charger from the alternator, so it'll charge the batteries when I'm driving. I'll give you a quick look at the solar charger. It's got a little screen, lots of little cycles, so you can see which battery's at, how much charge is coming from your panel, how much draw, a bunch of different things. But yeah, pretty handy. Up top here, got a rod holder, uh, just to hold a couple of rods, six rods. And then I'm going to store everything in these tubs for now. Uh, because like a professional draw system is just going to cost too much so I just put tackle and all sorts of stuff in here and um, then just strap it down. Alright over this side we've got an 8 litre fridge uh, it's a double box so you got two sides that you control separately uh, seems to be doing the trick at the moment just full of water now just keeping it cold and we got our little barbie uh, this portable barbie there, barbecue galore, and a little four kilo gas bottle, which was surprisingly dear. Um, all my cooking stuff will be in there, and I'll just prepare stuff here, and it seems to be working pretty well. And just carrying 25 litres of water as well, just just in case, I suppose. There's the, uh, the rod holder up there again. Better look at it. So it'll fit seven foot rods in there, no worries. It's the nuts and bolts with the uh, with the build. If there's anything that I missed or you want to know, I'm surely there is. Um, you know, let me know. Obviously, as time goes on and we get this out on the road, we'll work out. I've already started to work out a couple of things that I want to change already. So this stuff will change, no doubts about it. Um, once I work out what the best things to do with solar panels in, I'll probably get another solar panel at some point. So that'll be uh, down the track. 
so yeah you'll see this on the road this will this will allow me to sort of go out for about a week at a time so without having to trek home and charge laptops and dump footage and all that sort of stuff so it's going to be good for that um, and the other thing I was going to say for this year is I'm going to be hanging around for the first hour two hours of when a video goes up and just reply to as many comments as I can because I know it's it's hard to reply to comments all the time so I'm going to to make an effort to try and reply to more comments in, in that first hour or two when the video goes up so um, if you're new subscribe all that sort of stuff I'll see you in the next one